Good morning. We are on a train on our way to Bern. I'm doing the Saturday Christmas market, which I've never been to a Christmas market in four years, so this is exciting. Laura's with me. She's never been to a Christmas market either. I'm going to my mother's city. Laura's family's from Bern. She's never been there. So we've arrived in Bern. And we've, we found this. I've been here before, and I knew what that was this is before. The Capitol well, I can get the, yeah, the Capitol building. Yeah. So we walked around. I bought a bread van. I'll show it later. Um, and now we're trying to find the Christmas market. Which oh, wait, we, well, we found it. It's down there. So we wanted to start at one end, and then go through it so we see everything. So. So I find this strange. There's a man here and he's just selling like Christmas tree parts, I don't know. Pine cones and pieces of fern for decoration. The last thing you find that in like your backyard, so why would you sell it? It's weird. So one of the most important things that you must do when coming to a Christmas market in Switzerland or I guess really in any sort of German speaking place is get Glühwein. Um, it's basically it's mold wine. It's, that's the German word for it, Glühwein. And it's it's mulled wine, so just wine with spices and sugar. And you enjoy it and walk around. Yeah, this one came in a commemorative cup mug thing. And Laura is trying to see if she can buy just the mug and see if she's successful. And she doesn't want the wine, because meh. And I'm creepily talking in a back alleyway so that people don't look at me strangely, because this would be weird to see. Is it weird to watch? What is that? It is a fountain that they've let grow. That is not a fountain. Yes, no, it is. It's a metal pole that's gone up, and then they let water come down, and there's deposits. Like, there's moss on that. But a metal pole is not a fountain. Jesus, these trams. They're going to kill us, Laura. And I think... It's in I th Amsterdam. It is in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah. I'm trying to find the other Christmas markets. Apparently there are two. Or we're being distracted by all the stores and I'm trying not to get run over by trams. So. <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> Laura found a candy shop. I really don't think this should be a product for children. I mean, it's a, it's a pen. It's a syringe pen. Look at all that. All right, here she goes. The best way to get into a store. Definitely the coolest way to enter a store, especially a candy store. These people are geniuses. <laughs> and no one else is using the slide but me, so I look kind of stupid. But it's amazing. I forgot to show. With that candy shop we're just in, it's see here's the street, and this is where the candy shop is. Awkwardly underground. And this slide, it's really fun. Yeah, here in Bern they have like underground cellar stores. It's kind of strange. I've never been to Belgrade. Well, it looks like Belgrade. I haven't been to Belgrade, so maybe. Does does this look like Belgrade to anyone else? <laughs> I wouldn't know. We're gonna get killed on the street. The damn trams and the bicyclists. But yeah, they have stores. See, they have random stores. Oh, you can't see the men are there. They have random stores downtown, and see, those ones are closed. I don't know if it's, it's like typical of Bern. I don't really know any other city that doesn't. What? Oh, look, a juggling man. Oh, he's doing the like bouncy ball juggling. These trams are death. You've been to Amsterdam, right? No. 
they will kill you if you're not paying attention. The city of Bern is an actual Swiss city. I mean, Lugano's nice, but it really does not have a Swiss feel to it. Especially being tropical like that and all the Italians, it doesn't really feel Swiss at all. I mean, look at this place. And the man with the bear. Okay, sure, we can go see what that is. And then the cool, did you notice the little Christmas trees on the buildings? So adorable. They really go all out here when it's Christmas time. And it's gorgeous. It's not like just fake tinsel. So they put actual trees on the buildings with lights. This is the city. It's not like people decided to put them on their balconies. No. They replaced the flower pots with Christmas trees. And it's so pretty. We don't know how to cross the street. Apparently in the trams we're gonna kill us. We're gonna get fined and run over. <laughs> Well, we have three more hours to explore the Christmas markets. I don't think it'll be a problem with time. Yeah. Well, I really like the bear statue. Oh, and also in Bern they have like a pit somewhere in the city that has a brown bear in it. Is or it two. still here? Yeah. Okay, well we need to find that as well. Okay, okay. it might be a little... It's near the Paul Clay Museum. So it might be a little out of the way though. So Bern is a place where Einstein stayed um, after having left Germany. And it's right past this clock. You walk down the street a little bit and then you'll find the Einstein house. And there's a little plaque. I went to the house. I was actually in Bern about almost three years ago for academic travel. Remember? That's why I went to Korea and stuff. So I've already visited all the touristy things like this. But so we went in there at the time to see Einstein's house, just kind of a small apartment with some of his things. It's kind of like the Freud apartment if you ever go there. As well. Yeah, but the dog I think is by far the oh, creepiest that was one. Because there's like a little devil thing over there. <laughs> and a man on the other side. But that dog. That's not a That's thing. just oh, it's terrifying. <laughs> Cool, you just go, I want that one, and they give it to her. Laura's breadless bratwurst. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. How are you gonna do that? <laughs> it's like a nipple. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like a cow udder of mustard. <laughs> so now we're trying to see if we can find bears. bears. The Bernie's bears, look at their own license plates and everything. We were discussing, because this is the original bear pit, the one that I saw. March 2009, apparently. What? Okay, we're gonna get there, Laura. I want to see the bear. Calm down. And apparently they've changed it because I was telling Laura, like they're they're in a pit and sad and pathetic and <laughs> kind of feel bad. Which was this, because there was no grass and it was just rocks and gravel. I feel terrible for them. Um, apparently they've moved it. This is the bear enclosure. That's not. You could totally jump the fence. Oh look, there's a Bernese dog. Typical dog of Bern. He's so cute. So yeah, and also see you see a Bernese dog in Bern. You see them here. When I was in Denmark, I did not see one great day. Very upsetting. So there's the bear. One of them. There's two. There's a girl bear and a boy bear. Laura, well, make him do something. Go talk to him. Call him over. So yeah, this is the capital of Switzerland. How do you like ya? We've walked the entire city. And I'm very proud that my people came from a few miles outside of here in the crazy Mennonite village. This is a really cool house. They have a hidden car. Look how small that is. Wow. Here's what the book shows. Three, like, nine blocks. Yeah. Okay. So we have not seen the entire city. We saw, we we saw the, the old town. Part. They've turned on the lights here. It's very pretty. It is pretty. Look. Look 
at these lovely displays. There's, there's another one over here. I don't know if you can see them, but they're twinkling. And it's raining. <laughs> Hardcore classy rail station here in Lucerne. So, so sparkly and there's two of them. You can't tell the shiny. Well, my came up okay. Oh, it's so shiny. Look! Oh, it's Santa Claus! So Laura and I took a picture with Santa. He gave me dog food. Well, actually, I think they're cookies and candies, but it looks like... It totally looks like dog food. Buckleg. <laughs> Slabs. It's so cool. Oh, you can. Hey. I kind of freak. You're just going to scrape it off and put it on toast. That's my special name, you know. <laughs> Alright, so we are back in Lugano, and yeah, that was the trip to Bern today. Tomorrow will be less exciting, so don't get your hopes up. And we met Greg at the train station. Greg, are you still naked? No, I'm just one of the boxers. Hey. Good night, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the Bernese food market. Food market, Christmas market. Good night, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the Bern Christmas market. And. Yes, Greg. There's, that's the bread man. Okay, because I thought I had lost bread man. Oh, yeah, take him out. I don't know if I filled him. It's really creepy looking. It's like the Blair Witch Project doll. It's not creepy. And I just brushed my teeth so I can't eat him to eat him tomorrow. Oh, his eyes oh. falling out. Isn't he cute?